Welcome to Notepad. I'm your host, Ibrahim Sani. Um, today is a big day for Malaysia because Bank Negara very recently launched their results uh, for the first quarter GDP growth for Malaysia. Um, what was interesting was that everybody was expecting far, far severe results. Turns out that it was a negative number. It was actually 0.7%. Um, and the reason why people are expecting such lower numbers than what was published was because of various headwinds. This include uh, low oil prices, supply chain disruptions, a um, lot of political uncertainties, um, some virus issues, pandemic, uh, so to speak. Um, but this does leave Malaysian economy slightly shrinking than uh, previous quarters. In fact, at 0.7%, what happened is that uh, the Department of Statistics said that this was the lowest um, growth per quarter since 2009. Third quarter 2009 was registering at minus 1.1%. So this was the slowest number yet. What was also important to note is that uh, in that press briefing that I attended just now, um, via uh, virtual means, of course, uh, the bank, uh, Negara Governor, did say that, uh, and this is quoted verbatim, yeah, um, COVID-19 uh, press, sorry, COVID-19 uh, impact towards the economy is severe, more so in second quarter. So that's some of the signals that she was giving. Second quarter results would be far lesser than this. Now, if you think about it, that um, that is actually quite logical. We are halfway through the second quarter. If you think about second quarter having um, uh, 12 weeks, six weeks have passed. We are only going into the next six more weeks to go. And Malaysian economy is only starting, restarting right now. Um, the official date was, of course, May 4th. But if you've ever tried calling, you know, handyman workers, whatever, you know, roofers, tilers, uh, plumbing guys, uh, whatever, these kind of guys, um, electricians, they are only starting to come back now. Aircon service providers, for instance, they are not coming immediately on the 4th of May. They are only coming in back slowly right now as we speak. So the economy is picking up and restarting, but at a very slow rate. This is, of course, as per the recommendations by the Ministry of Health. We want to make sure that everything is restarting to be normal as well. Uh, so let's take a look into some of the conversations that took place uh, in the uh, presentation of the Bank Negara results just now. A significant moderation was due to slower economic activity following measures to contain the COVID-19 pandemic globally and also domestically. The COVID-19 pandemic, along with the measures implemented to contain its spread, particularly the movement control order, resulted in weakness across most sectors. The services sector moderated sharply in first quarter, the slowest since the second quarter of 2009, as tourism, consumer and business-related activities were adversely affected. Uh, the data surprised many um, results, uh, market watchers, uh, including uh, showing slower growth of 0.7% year on year. Um, but uh, the average right now is uh, expectations by public is actually minus negative 1% to negative 4% and it appears that everybody has underestimated the strength of the consumers to uh, power on. Um, going into the second quarter, some analysts argue that the consumer strength will continue to be tested again um, and this will, be, this will be bearing the brunt of the MCO partial lockdown measures um, and of course the job situation as well. Um, there's still enough uh, from the first quarter to actually power up the uh, movement of the growth of the economy. I want to focus a little bit on this graph. You can just pull this particular graph up. This shows that the Malaysian GDP growth uh, percentage year on year. If you look at the dip happening on the overall line, the blue line in the middle, um, it took a substantial dip from the 3.6% or 4% towards last quarter to now 0.7%. But what was interesting is that uh, investments uh, have gone down tremendously, um, but consumption has remained strong. And this graph talks about how consumption is going to be 
powering through uh, the Malaysian economic growth moving forward. Um, the second graph that I want to show you is, of course, uh, the Malaysian GDP growth, uh, where we look at quarter and quarter. Um, as you can see, over the past, I don't know, nine years, eight years maybe, uh, the graph has been steady in terms of the positive front numbers and everything is coming on along well. Um, but the dip that is happening for this year, full on quarter on quarter uh, expectations, of course, is uh, minus 2%. Uh, year on year growth, of course, 0.7%. Uh, um, and this is indicative of what may be to come. This number, this graph will continue to show uh, decline. The red bar will continue to be growing further deeper into the negative territory. The blue line will continue to dip even further to negative territory. Second quarter is going to be bad for the country. Not just the country, but everyone around the world. What was interesting was that the governor just now stated that um, this is... Uh, there has to be some distinction into what is happening currently right now with that of, say, for instance, the Asian financial crisis or some other crisis of 2008. Uh, this is a global health issue crisis. It was not brought on by the onset of the financial institutions um, like Freddie Mae or Fannie Mac, for instance. It was not brought upon by currency issues. It was not brought upon by banking and credit issues. It was on is, still is, a public health issue. And therefore, the uniqueness of this particular crisis brings about more ways to solve in terms of uh, bringing ourselves up from this particular rut that we're facing right now. What's also important to note is that, like any other crisis around the world before this, it was not this crisis that we're facing right now is not a regional crisis, not a nation-based crisis. It is a global issue. So if everybody is poor, then one can argue no one is because everybody is going through the same thing. Um, inflation is going to be a big problem for us to look at, and therefore we have to keep an eye or a close eye on this. Um, and from the statement that is coming in from Bank Negara, uh, what is interesting is that Bank Negara doesn't expect the inflation rate to actually balloon up as per, as per thought by other analysts. But we'll see um, how the inflation numbers will creep up month on month. Uh, the second quarter results, of course, expected sometime uh, in uh, August, so it's still far away from now. Uh, one would argue that uh, while the second quarter is expected to be worst, if we rely back on the consumers and the consumption there, uh, we might weather the storm better than most. Take a short break. When we come back, we'll discuss a little bit of politics. Don't go anywhere. Mm -hmm.